uh, hold up, wait. Are we in January right now? Let me let me check my calendar real quick. Is it snowing outside? Wait. It's March? Oh my god. Alright guys, let's get into it. 65 as well. Exactly what the title of the video suggests. A waste. And while I might have went with 65, how to fail at The Last of Us, let's be real here. Both statements apply. 65 is an action, thriller, sci-fi type of movie set in a pre-human dinosaur age, but not Jurassic Park type setting on prehistoric Earth. Or to shorten all of that up, 65 million years ago. How fucking clever. Following criminally and casually underrated Adam Driver as he plays a pilot from another planet, even though we look human, I know, transporting a bunch of fodder to another planet because, um... Well, I don't know, it's not really specific in the movie. But in reality, it doesn't even matter. Just know that he's hit by an asteroid, yes, that asteroid, and crash lands on a 65 million years ago Earth with only one survivor, a little girl named Koa. And with only one escape pod left still in moderately good function found deep in the mountains, the two must somehow find a way to navigate the dangerous nature of prehistoric Earth the language barrier that the two find between them, and the man-eating dinosaurs that roam the land, the sea, and the sky. But will Adam Driver's mills be able to take care of the girl as well as himself? Will the new territory and the creatures that inhabit it fare way too much for the two survivors? And will the two ever make it back home? You see from that description, there's simply no reason why I should be reacting the way I'm reacting. It's nonsense, really. This is supposed to be a simple, fun, action-packed dinosaur movie with Adam Driver. Like, what am I talking about? The problem is, and if you guys have been around the channel for a good while, you know me. You can have a bad script, bad acting, bad CGI, terrible world building. I don't really even care. Well, I care. But the one thing that you can't be which is the one thing that this movie undeniably is, is boring. <sighs> this is so boring! Scene after scene of tiny dinosaur attacks, small here and there Mother Nature problems that eventually lead the two to the big boss battle in the indie climax of the movie to dictate the fight for their survival. Unfortunately, the character development just isn't there for either of our two leading characters for a movie that only asked me to care about two characters. Koa and Mills are some of the most bland, bottom-of-the-barrel, vanilla-ass characters that I've ever seen put to screen in honestly quite a long time. And that's not to say the performances are necessarily bad, because the chemistry is there, and the acting is there. It's just the heart, the passion, the soul to sound cliche that is just evidently missing. No matter how many dangerous situations the two are put through, even taking out the possibility in your mind that these two characters can't die, well, because they're the only two characters in the film, even taking that out, I found myself not on the edge of my seat, heart still beating relatively normal, emotions still bottled away inside, and to be honest, thinking about what I was going to have for dinner that night because the characters simply didn't give me enough to care. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, you still have the bang bangs and the pow pows. Like, there are dinosaurs in this film. Not as much as you might like, but you're not looking at a 2014 Godzilla situation in this movie. You definitely get a fair amount, and the movie, just like in video game fashion, even throws in a time-staking, get-a-move-on type plot twist in the third act with the asteroid that absolutely obliterated the dinosaurs making its way to Earth. And while my initial comparison to this film was just After Earth with Will Smith and Jaden Smith... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, remember that movie? I just found myself thinking, yeah, this is definitely just The Last of Us, but you know, shit. And prehistoric, I guess. 
As you can tell, it's relatively easy to compare this movie to the likes of a survival video game, and it's just unfortunate that the writers weren't able to come up with interesting and effective ways to make us care about the characters, even in the slightest fashion. I mentioned this in my review for The Menu, that this can make or break a movie. In a solo-type film, no, not, not solo-type film, I get about an hour to truly care about the characters in your story, and in a survivalist film, I imagine it's probably even less. And we just couldn't hit the nail on the head here. When it comes to Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us, while the media of video games and a TV series gives a lot more screen time and character situations for the writers to ensure that the audience will leave with a lasting impression of their main characters, either good or bad, 65 either didn't have the capability or the competence, or in my opinion, more than likely didn't care enough or even think about it. And that's why this review is pretty short. Because if the people making the movie didn't care, why should I? Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Feel free to go check out the short I made for this movie for a quick and, well, funnier review and rating of 65. As well as plenty of other movies and shows that I've rated and reviewed. If you've watched 65, make sure to comment down below how you felt about the movie, and if you didn't, well, congratulations. You saved your money, and it's probably going to go to Shazam 2, which is probably also a waste. Unfortunate. But either way, good job. March is pretty stacked when it comes to movies, and I'll be watching John Wick 4, I think, in a week, so that will be an exciting time. But again, good job. March is pretty stacked this month when it comes to movies, and I'll be watching John Wick 4 pretty soon, just like the rest of you. So I'll see you then. Again, thank you guys for watching, and that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.